The University of Connecticut is a top 20 public research university. It's a land-grant institution. It has about 35,000 students and about 6,000 faculty and staff. Our missions are to educate students and prepare them for the workforce. Our second mission is to conduct state-of-the-art research and to create new knowledge. And our third mission is to engage industry and to have an impact. The climate at the University of Connecticut now to integrate those missions has just been really tremendous. High performance computing is absolutely critical to what we're doing. Research computing, in large part, was historically very individually researcher focused. They built all their own infrastructure and they maintained all their own infrastructure. When the university began to make central investments in infrastructure, that freed up researchers and graduate students to focus on the actual place where they add the maximum value, which is in pursuit of science. Today, we've deployed several hundred Dell EMC PowerEdge M630 servers to be the core of our storage HPC cluster. The Dell PowerEdge M630 servers has been a really good sweet spot for us. It allows us to deploy multiple different workloads in the same environment. It's also a platform that is very easy for us to manage. But today, we're at about 6,000 cores. Intel processors for us has always been the logical choice. Intel is a leader in the market for processors for high performance computing. We selected the Intel Xeon E52690 Haswell processor, which met the most use cases possible uh, in terms of how many cores it has and how fast the clock speed is. We deployed several thousand of those recently and we've been very happy with that processor. They're compatible with our previous versions of our Intel processors. And there are nice new features like the AVX2 extensions. Faculty have been very happy using the cluster. They've been able to take the results from weeks down to days or hours. We recently purchased two Dell EMC PowerEdge R730 servers, each with two Intel Xeon Phi coprocessors. There is a lot of excitement around the Xeon Phi processor. In certain workloads, our faculty believe that they can achieve a great speed up uh, due to the many core architecture. Dell EMC and Intel have helped us to deploy high performance computing at large scale with relatively limited local resources and to be successful so that our faculty are successful. We've gotten tremendous feedback from all the faculty we've been hiring about the capabilities we've been able to provide them in high performance computing. The problems that we address today are either computationally very intensive or they involve a lot of data. So the high performance computing enables us to solve so-called intractable problems faster than what would be otherwise uh, possible. For example, the simulation project led by Manos in forecasting weather models. Predicting weather, it's not possible without high performance computing. When Superstorm Sandy hit Connecticut, we developed a model, a preliminary model, an early stage model of outage prediction based on Storm Irene. We combined the weather forecast with our storm outage model, and through this, we provided quite accurate forecasts of the location of outages and the timing. We cannot avoid Mother Nature hitting our infrastructure. All we can do is better plan. Our vision is to save, for each storm, millions of dollars for our utilities. We're really committed to building the capability in the HPC, and the excellent partnership we have with Dell, EMC, and Intel in building this system has been one of our largest successes in the last couple of years. And if I went around and I named all the faculty who are using the HPC facility, and you look at their research and you see the impact of that research, it's just tremendous.